there are billions of people who use Android devices, and it's important to remember that not everybody interacts with their device the same way. TalkBack is one of the tools that allows people to more easily interact with their device. And as an Android developer, it's important to test that your app works well with services such as TalkBack. In this episode, we'll look at what TalkBack is, how to set it up on your device, and how to navigate an app using TalkBack. TalkBack is a Google screen reader included on most Android devices. When TalkBack is turned on, it provides spoken feedback so users can navigate their device without looking at the screen. Once TalkBack is enabled, users can navigate their device through gestures such as swipes and taps. There are various ways to turn on TalkBack, and the specific steps may vary by device and Android version. One of the ways to turn on TalkBack is through the Settings app. On your device, open the Settings app. In the Settings app, navigate to the Accessibility section and find the TalkBack option. Once you're inside the TalkBack settings, you can turn Use TalkBack to on or off. You can also easily toggle TalkBack by asking Google Assistant. For other ways to turn on TalkBack, check out the link in the video description below. If you want to easily toggle TalkBack in the future, you can also enable the TalkBack shortcut option. This allows you to turn TalkBack on or off by holding the volume keys for three seconds. Some devices even come with TalkBack pre-configured for this shortcut. Now that TalkBack is turned on, let's see how navigation works using TalkBack in a sample app. Here, we're on the home screen of a task tracking app with TalkBack turned on. With TalkBack on, one of the ways a user can navigate this screen is by exploring through touch. As a user taps around the screen, TalkBack announces the text, buttons, and items. After a pause, TalkBack might also suggest actions the user can take on an active item, such as double tapping to activate a button. Another common way for users to navigate their device with TalkBack is through various gestures. On TalkBack's default settings, a common navigation gesture is the one finger swipe to the left or right. Swiping right with one finger will navigate you to the next item on the screen. And swiping left with one finger will navigate to the previous item. Another common gesture is the double tap, which will take action on a selected item. For example, you can navigate through the items in this task tracking list with one finger swipes, and then double tap anywhere on the screen to go into the detail view of that specific task. Finally, you can also easily open the TalkBack menu by using the swipe down then right gesture. From this menu, you can then access the custom actions for your app. There are many more gestures that you can use to navigate your device with TalkBack and ways for you to customize how TalkBack navigates a screen. Check out the link in the video description below for a more comprehensive list of TalkBack gestures and how to customize TalkBack navigation. To summarize, TalkBack is a screen reader that allows people to more easily interact with their device. Using TalkBack, users can navigate their device with gestures and spoken feedback. A great way to test for areas of improvement in your app is to navigate your app with TalkBack turned on. Now that you've learned the basics of how TalkBack works, be sure to test navigating your app with TalkBack and stay tuned for more tips on how to make your app more accessible for everybody. Thank you.